Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit about magic and the occult and meditation and psychedelics, basically, which really all go together a lot more than I think a lot of people realize. Um, and that was actually the point of the mysteries to a large extent, and the reason for the apoptier or the inner circle, um, the keepers of the secret knowledge, the secret doctrine. Even in Zen Buddhism, they have safety protocols, because when you... Um, expand your consciousness, lo and behold, things actually happen. Uh, you start to experience precognitions, uh, which can be understood, by the way, without having to invoke woo at all, uh, because subconscious is pattern recognition um, is extraordinary. Uh, that's why, you know, savants, and I guess I think some people with autism can do this, um, but, you know, uh, January 23rd, 1922 was a Monday. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to think about it for a split second. It's just already there. Um, so, you know, if you really truly establish uh, this bridge between uh, the subconscious and conscious mind, these patterns that have been mapped out by the subconscious emerge into the conscious mind. And that is really what precognition is. According to Maynard James Keenan from Tool, the fear inoculum thing, they wrote this song about a pandemic causing people to be afraid of each other uh, and causing all of this fear and hatred um, six months before COVID hit. Uh, you know, and that was his answer, um, which is the same answer that I would give, and I'm sure that Aleister Crowley would give. Uh, speaking of Aleister Crowley, you know, this his holy guardian angel or higher self told him, "Your success will be your proof," right? And that makes sense. So we have another person who focused a tremendous amount of energy in establishing this individuation or uh, you know the communication between the two hemispheres of the mind, and. Pretty much inarguably, the only prophetical document in the history of humanity that is um, precise. You know, the, it doesn't, uh, it didn't succumb to the vagaries of Edgar Cayce and Nostradamus. Uh, it says that the new aeon will begin when the world is soaked in blood by the Great War. And in the book, Great War is capitalized. And World War I came to be called Great, the Great War afterwards. And if you Google it, you will see that the modern era is generally considered to have been started by that war. So he wrote that in that book 10 years before the Great War created the new Aeon, even according to the metrics of historians. So that is like, that's a tough one to, um, you know, dismiss. Uh, and these, by the way, are the kind of standards that you really need if you're going to be a real occultist. Um, things need to have this level of um, substance, uh, otherwise they should be dismissed outright. Um, and that's a skill that most people that, that open up to spirituality and metaphysics and whatnot never acquire. Um, and then there's also the fact that this, this being, uh, Iwas, uh, and in case you're not aware of this, he, he did say that it was his holy guardian angel. And he also said that he never made up his mind, whether it was just part of his psyche or like a literal, you know, being with its own objective existence. Um, and I, I think that's important to note, you know, and it's also a very important approach, I think, to inculcate, uh, you know, to just be okay with the fact that you do not know what's really going on with any of this stuff and probably never will. And you just have to kind of develop a skill set to live with it and navigate it. I think that katmas, which are relativistic meta beliefs, are much more useful than dogmas, which are strict and um, unyielding. It's being also told him to take wine and strange drugs and know me thereof. And now we have all these people smoking DMT and taking ayahuasca and interacting with this Pachamama um, creature. Uh, and this was actually said during the feminine phase of this being's, uh, he, you know, it was like a, a different aspect of Rahur Kuit in each of the um, chapters. And then probably the most interesting one is that he 
said that we will know the new Aeon is in full swing. Fascism all over the planet, and then also um, people becoming more epicent and bisexual. And now, of course, we have gender fluidity. And so, you know, my point is that the people that have established this knowledge and, and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel have left a pretty compelling record that there's actually something to it. I mean, the book of the law is pretty wild in that respect. Even the population control agenda is mentioned in there. He says, um, society only moves by the light of genius. The herd will be destroyed in mass. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild um, stuff. There's this idea throughout the history of magic and the occult that your real objective is to connect with this creative impulse to extract knowledge and information that allows you to appear to transcend the rules of ordinary reality. Breaking the rules of creation is not what magic is for, uh, but becoming so adept at uh, utilizing them that uh, what you do seems like miracles to the profane. When someone is incredible at something, you call them a wizard. You know, that guy's a whiz at math. He's a whiz at this, a whiz at that. And if you think about that, you know, really run it through your mind. There's not really an overt connection between wizards and high intelligence or adepthood or any of that sort of stuff with the average person. Um, but yet people seem to be almost intuitively compelled to make this connection between genius, high-level genius, and uh, abilities that transcend the ordinary and mundane, uh, and associating that with wizards and genius. We see that, and people don't really make the connection that the true objective of transcendental meditation and alchemy and you know occult practices and shamanism and all of these things is really about uh, accessing a transcendental state of mind that allows us to become more than human. All of these things that have been demonized are fundamental ideas that are connected to this process of knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel or connection with the higher self and individuation. And they are all remedies to the slave state of mind. That is not a coincidence. There is no doubt that these systems were engineered in order to circumvent uh, and curtail this genuine spiritual development and evolution of people. Because an empowered, fully realized race that is in contact with their daemon, with their holy guardian angel and higher self and genius, is not going to tolerate being governed, and they are not in need of governance. Um, so, you know, you guys, this, this knowledge and the practices that are associated with it, are they, they couldn't be more important and more essential.